everybody, my name is Brian Stith and welcome to I Am Devoted. I'm here with a special guest today in Central London. His name is Yinka Adoi. He's a director, cinematographer, as well as a photographer. Yinka, I would just like you to introduce yourself a little bit and talk more about what you do in the film and photography industry. All right. My name is Yinka Adoi and I am a director, a photographer, a producer, and um, I am based here in London and I produce from short movies to um, features, uh, music videos, and I do commercial photography, um, both um, fashion portraits to family portraits, and also do some events uh, photography. Um, my origin to, to this um, actually started way back in Nigeria. Um, which I studied um, performing arts um, at Lagos State University. I did a year there, there before coming to um, UK in 2001. So that is going on almost 17 years now. Got, getting here, I um, went to Westminster Kingsway, uh, an amazing college. I did two years there doing TV and video production and um, so that actually gave me a wide range of of the knowledge of technicality when it comes to production. And from there, I went to a Metropolitan University, did film studies, and that kind of gave me the background of studying the psychology of film in a more ther um, theoretical way. And since then, I've been, you know, working for, uh, in the industry from. Uh, um, behind the scenes. But going back to as um when I was in Nigeria I wanted to be an actor. Okay. I wanted to be an actor and that's why I did performing arts. But after some years when I got here I decided that it's better for me to actually be uh, behind the the camera, behind the scenes because I think the, the, the initial idea that actually got me to is like, if I'm an actor like James Bond and I'm going to be doing all sort of kissing scenes and all that, <laughs> would my, maybe, I was just thinking, maybe the person I'm going to get by to may not like it or fit, which I actually don't say anything wrong in that because I want to, if I'm an actor, I want to be a method actor and throw myself into everything. But I, I was like thinking that, um, Anybody I want to get married to may not like that exactly, approach. Exactly. And so I was like, maybe it's actually good for me to be behind the camera. So that is why I now start studying um, uh, film and decided to be a director and I started uh, writing stories and started like, just creating things. And uh, about um, nine years ago, I got into photography because I've told myself that if I want to master uh, telling a good uh, story, making the picture really uh, important and great. I have to understand the the composition of a picture and how. So that's when I got into photography. Got myself some equipment, and I t went on YouTube to actually um, see some uh, tutorial lessons and what type of camera to get and how do I do this? Um, how do I do this set of photography? and how does Photoshop work. So okay. I actually taught myself a lot about that, which I would say to people, YouTube is the new university. So <laughs> That's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so you can teach yourself a lot of, uh, lot of that. And over the years, it's, it's really been helpful. And um, yeah, so uh, from now, I, I have like two features under my belt. I've done lots of uh, short movies, uh, um, as I said, music uh, videos, and I'm also doing a fashion photography portraits, and um, just, you know, let's see what the feature holds, really. Exactly. Do you have any favorite type of photography style that you like to shoot? Um, what I would say my favorite style is actually um, commercial art. Um, I like to do fashion art, or uh, even um, family portrait arts, um, something that you just see the color pop and you know um, that anybody looking at the image would be interested to look at and it would uh, bring a happy feeling to them. Nika just did a photo shoot with me and Jada 
and it was amazing. We had a couple shoot, and he really did a great job. I'll upload that to our Instagram in a couple of weeks. Um, also, I wanted to ask you, did you have like a favorite style of film that you like to either direct or shoot when it comes to film work? Yeah, my favorite, uh, favorite um, style of film is actually drama. Um, I like a, a story that will get you thinking and get you really into the character, into the story. So drama is my uh, favorite book. Sometimes I like to put a twist on it, which could be a psychological uh, way of looking at it. So I, I tend to lean more to the psychological thrillers. And um, yeah, I've done a couple of shows with which uh, I also a feature which is a psychological uh, trailer. So yeah, I like drama would actually be my best thing because I love good acting, good storyline, a story that could actually evoke a uh, feeling out of you. Yeah, that's awesome. Man. I just want to also know how did you stay devoted to your passion when the resources might not have been there. You might not have had encouragement and just how did you stay devoted for such a long time right um devotion is something i believe that every individual should, should have you should have something you're passionate about um for me is staying true to to myself and true to my craft um because i feel that many artists are not really encouraged and respected and i just wanted to say to them like we artists are actually very um, important in this world and the world should uh, encourage us more and um, because of that um, I would say okay whatever I do if I do it good if I believe in it and other people can see it uh, later on maybe the money will come and gradually I've been saying that I just decided like I'm not gonna quit I'm gonna keep on going and over the years that I've <coughs> invested <coughs> into doing all this, I feel like it is going to pay off. I believe it's going to pay off. And I, I actually just wanted to leave something behind because I, I believe that whatever you do, leave a mark behind before you go. And um, just uh, stay devoted to, to your passion. And um, this is my passion. Uh, storytelling is my passion. And yeah, I just want to say, keep on going if you can. Yeah. And what would you say, I know this is kind of similar, but still, what would you say to film workers and photographers that are starting out that they're not quite encouraged to keep going once they hit a roadblock or something like that? Like, what kind of gets you over the hump? Okay, um, anywhere you turn to in life, generally, every everywhere, there's always going to be an obstacle. If you want to be great in life, you, can, you have to battle something. There's nothing that comes easy in this in this life. Even if you even if you're born into a royal family, there's still always gonna be some obstacle. So don't let that deter you from getting to your targets, your from reaching your goals. You should see that as actually a tool to make you greater. And that's the way I see life and every obstacle that I've ever encountered, like it was some like for a photographer or a filmmaker, sometimes you may not actually make any money for months or even sometimes years and you're you're investing a lot into it you invest your time your money every everybody's even looking at you like are you actually serious go get something to do but um but because you believe in in what you do that it, it is necessary for the world i just feel that don't give up one day if if you if if everybody believe in everything that you do that they see that is good it will pay off that's that's very powerful man that's very powerful now also we can't do everything by ourselves we can't do it alone and i know we had a conversation before when you talked about your wife really supporting you can you yeah. just give more insight to having a good foundation and a good support system right um from where i come from nigeria they they always use this analogy about broom they say if you take one stick out of the broom and you try to use it to sweep, it will not do the job. But if you have a bunch of sticks and you put a rope around it, it will definitely clean up. So that means working together as a unit. Modern people working together as a unit. Um, you can't do this thing alone. You, you can't. You need to to find somebody who believes in you, believes in your passion, who who would encourage you. If you're lucky enough, maybe that'll be your partner. 
for me, I'm lucky to have an amazing wife now that over the years we've been together for 10 years now and she's been a big support a big pillar pillar to my life and everything I do because that is this art that I'm doing she's been supportive from every single step of, of, of all the way she's been some ideas that I'll, I'll whenever whenever I get it I'll go straight to her and I'm like hey, what do you think sometimes she's like okay nah that's not gonna fly and sometimes and she's like okay that idea is amazing we definitely need to write it down definitely put it out always have somebody next to you who encourages um encourages your your work and just give you that moral support really and if you if you have that go with that and also friends your 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 friends your immediate circle let them be like-minded people let them be intelligent people that will actually show you you can actually do this better. Do yeah. try it this way and just move around. If you have a good circle of friends that are like-minded and are intelligent and just have them around you, that will definitely help. That's awesome, man. Your story is very motivational to me, actually, because since I moved here, I've just had the support of my fiance Jada, and my family. And Without them, I would not have survived out here in London, honestly. And yeah. I really look up to your story because it kind of gives me strength to keep going. Yeah. Um, what would you say that you have in store for us in 2018 as far as with your film work? All right, 2018, we actually have a lot coming. Um, the present one is a, um, a series that we are going to start shooting in a couple of weeks. It's called The Old. Um, I'm working alongside... Um, Ola Lali, she's the writer. Um, she she's an amazing writer. We have a couple of projects that we are working on, but the, the one we're working on now is called The Old, and it's a, about um, sex trafficking, which is a um, subject that is so relevant to the world right now. Yeah. And yeah. many people know about it, but they're not really doing anything about it. And it's a sub, uh, subject matter that we want to. Uh, touch on so that it would actually encourage an action from anybody the government to actually just go and do something because thousands if we can even say millions of people around the world are actually being enslaved to this 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 um, sex traffic thing and we just wanted to like touch on that and see what we can you know do about it uh, so it's a series that we hope that um, some of the networks they pick it up, and so that the whole world can can see that it is it is happening, it is present. We should get rid of it, and um, yeah. So we're shedding a light on that, and there's some um, other projects that we also working on. They're gonna come on later on this year. A couple of series we've been writing. We're quite excited about that, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned. And yeah, we we have lots more coming. That's yeah. awesome, man. You're amazing, Yanka. You are. You truly are. Um, if anybody would like to get in contact with you, uh, how should they reach out to you as far as bookings and inquiries? All right. Yeah, so I am on inst Instagram. I'm Facebook. I'm on YouTube. On Instagram, you're going to uh, I am Yinka the Artist. Okay. Um, on uh, Facebook, I'm Yinka Do. That's my name. And yeah, on um, YouTube, just type in Yinka the Artist. You'll see my works. Everything is there. Uh, if you go on my uh, Instagram, you're gonna see lots of great pictures, like come some of the works I do. You can't the artist, so you can't you can't miss me. And my website is www.yinkaidowood.com. Yeah, just reach out, don't hesitate. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Any lasting words? Any last message you want to give to the audience, either motivational to promote whatever you have going on? Just any last words? Okay, what I will say is that. Whenever you wake up, just believe you have to do something. What you have to do is make the next person to you happy. Be positive. Say encouraging words. I believe in that. I believe that we need to make this world a positive place. And whatever you can do regarding that, just do it. Compliment anybody in front of you. Just say something, something great and you will see that the next day you wake up, it's going to be a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anchor. Welcome.